Hey everybody, it's Cartfab here, and today we're going to learn about assembling the go-kart steering parts for the go-kart kit that I got online. You can check out the links in the description as well as get free go-kart plans on my website, cartfab.com. Alright, so the steering column is the first thing we're going to look at. That's the thing that rotates when you turn the steering wheel that will move the pitman arm, tie rods, and eventually your wheels. So the pitman arm, steering stop, fixed bracket, collars, uh, hub and steering wheel all go together and we're going to show you how they how they go together so you basically to make your tabs and your pitman arm you take 3 16th inch steel and cut it out you are also going to want to cut out the steering stop out of angle iron so if you look up here this is the hub that the steering wheel attaches to now it's basically just a big flat washer that you get at a hardware store and there's three holes in the steering wheel, so you're going to want to drill holes out so you can bolt the hub onto the steering wheel. So you mark it, drill it out, and then make sure the dots line up. This next thing is a fixed bracket that you are going to drill a three-quarter inch hole through. And then this is the pitman arm, and you drill a hole through that for the uh, tie rod bolt. It would be a good idea to grind off sh some sharp edges so you don't catch on them and then finish it up by removing any burrs. This next thing is the column again, but if you notice these collars don't fit on very well and the shaft has to rotate very well within it so you just grind and polish off a little bit off of that shaft and the collars fit right in there. There's a 1 and 5 8 inch gap at the end of the steering shaft you are going to have to make sure that that's right on the money and only weld on one side of this collar. The reason why is this uh, lower support needs to have an open space in between it to allow the column to pivot within it. Then weld the pitman arm to the bottom of the shaft. Alright, so if you notice here, this pivots very well. And then the steering stop, that's what prevents you from oversteering, needs to have a little bit of play right there so that this lower bracket can rotate freely. Notice it rotates freely, has a little bit of playroom. That's exactly what you're looking for. You do not want this to bind. Next you have a little washer that you can weld to the opposite end of the steering column. Make sure you have your collar in there so you don't weld anything on there and then have to chop it off later. Then you take the flat washer or the steering wheel hub and you put the bolts in it and you make sure that the pitman arm is pointing up with one of the three supports for the steering wheel. The reason why you do this is you want to have a free spot for each hand when you're steering left and right and you don't want to have one of those three supports uh, in the way. Alright, so the next thing we're looking at is the steering hoop. That's the thing that the column will be attached to. Uh, take your protractor and you want to cut out exactly 51 degree angle for the, the cuts for the top of the hoop and the two side supports. Um, you can cut from both sides if you need to. If you look at this, this is a, a little jig or a little um, setup that I use to prevent warping. Whenever you weld, as you probably already know, things will tend to shift on you or warp. So if you support everything, when you tack weld, that'll hold everything in, in place and then you do your final welds after you tack weld and then grind down your welds if you want to make it look good and take a polishing wheel and polish them up. Alright, next you want to take the front of the go-kart and mark where the lower steering bracket is going to go. Uh, the lower steering bracket is centered within the driver's side then you mark the other side where the steering hoop will go and then you take your angle finder and you rotate it to about 55 degrees. Then you raise the steering column up and you just tack weld. I want to repeat this, you just tack weld this one spot. Alright, the reason why you want to tack weld that is it will bind if you fully weld everything. So just make a few little welds on the top collar. Then you rotate your pitman arm to about 45 degrees. Notice it's right there at 45 degrees. Then rotate it the other way, 45 degrees, after you make your first tack. So then that steering stop will contact the front axle at 45 degrees left and right. The next thing we are looking at is the kill switch bracket. There are two holes you want to drill. Um, I used about one and one quarter inch uh, flat bar and I figured out, you know, this is a, 
the, right about where I want to have the kill switch, so I used a C-clamp, uh, marked it with a razor blade, uh, put a little dimple in there, and drilled the two holes out. Uh, the video only, sh only shows one hole, but you drill one big hole and then a tiny hole for the ground. And then you weld it right up. It's that simple. Next are the spindle brackets. These are very, very critical welds. So if you have a very small 90 amp welder, you will need to do a couple passes on that. So you tack weld them first, right at 90 degrees, or a small 2 degree incline from the 90s, and then you fully weld. Uh, the welder I used was pretty powerful, so I only did one pass. So again, if you have a very small welder, do a couple passes, so it'll be a strong weld. Now before you fully weld everything, you might want to check the spindles and tie rods and make sure everything lines up the way you want it to line up. So you assemble the kingpin bolt on the spindles. There's a right hand and a left handed spindle as well as the tie rods. You can adjust the length of the tie rods by uh, rotating the tie rod ends in and out. If everything lines up great, you're good to go and fully weld. Final step is to go ahead and cut out some spacers or alternatively you could just buy some spacers at your hardware store. It's about a one inch spacer that goes over your 5 8 inch uh, spindle bolt right there. Put the rim on, put on your machine washer, and hand tighten the nut on it. So that's it. That's what it should look like with the spacer and tire on it. That's what the kill switch will look like when it's all bolted together. And the steering wheel, pitman arm, all of the steering wheel assembly for your go-kart is set up. So, if you like this video, as always, give it a thumbs up, rate, and if you haven't already, subscribe. The last video that we looked at was how to install the seat and seat slider. The next one will be the brakes. Thanks guys for watching this video. Have a good one. Check out the plans at cartfab.com.